Hi, I'm Lisa Itell with Design World here with Jonas Prager of Trinamic Motion Control. Jonas, would you give our viewers a little bit of information about Trinamic, the technologies that you make, and the applications you serve? Thank you. Yeah, um, Trinamic is a German based semiconductor company. We are completely focused on driving and controlling small electric motors. We're doing this for about 20 years now, and we have served a lot of higher-end applications like lab automation, everything that needs really precise positioning based on stepper motors. In the last years, these applications expanded a bit to, we, had, we see a lot of IoT in the moment, home automation for example, we see um, electromobility, not so much automotive, but a lot of electric bikes, um, scooters, etc. But also a lot of new applications like 3D printing, which has moved from, from an, a very expensive industrial arena to um, something that you can have at your home or at your office. And Jonas, would you give us a little bit of information about how Trinamic offerings improve the performance of motion applications? The majority of what we did in the past is precision, precision and reducing the noise. It's more and more about efficiency, efficiency in different, different arenas, basically. Excellent. And what are the different ways in which uh, motor-powered design, whether battery-powered or otherwise, can see improvements in efficiency? Where are the efficiencies to be had? Well, yeah, that's as I said, it's different. Depending on the application, it's different arenas where a design has to be efficient. Um, it's pretty obvious that, that if you have a big motor, the motor is the part with the majority of the power dissipation. So there is a, an accepted way to reduce the power dissipation there, and that's a field-oriented control. Um, and that's why we, we offer chips that integrate this field-oriented control and that make it easy for the developer to access it and to just use it and not implement it himself. But imagine you have a, a much smaller motor and it's not controlled all of the time or not driven all of the time. For example, like um, IoT devices, we see a lot of home automation coming up now. This, this for example, is a radiator valve for, for um, the heating of your home. These motors are driven just a few seconds per day, maybe a few minutes per day. So it's much more important that you don't lose energy while they are not powered. So here, we have another arena of efficiency and that's the power dissipation of the control logic itself. So you, are not, you will not accept to change the batteries every few months. We're talking about nanoamps there and when the motor is driven it's not that important. It's more important that the motor is uh, really quiet when it's operated. The third arena is the power stage itself. If you're thinking of big motors for, uh, again and you have large power stages, the power losses when switching are really high. So uh, in that case, a high-end motor control might be reduced a bit or a, a bit in the performance of the motor control to reduce the power dissipation in the power stage. So that's why we can go down to lower PWM frequencies or even skip the whole field-oriented control thing to reduce it to a much simpler way of control. And speaking of field-oriented control, it's true for both stepper motors, which is our home base basically, and more and more also brushless DC motors where a field-oriented control is applied for a long time already. So in the end, I believe that both kind of motors will move together in the same direction with regards to the control and with regards to the software that you use for them. And it's just a mechanical decision which of these two motor types you will use. And Jonas, where can our viewers get more information from Trinamic? For more information, go to trinamic.com. Please use one of the many contact options and just ask us. Awesome. And for more information from us, visit designworldonline.com or eeworldonline.com. Thank you for watching.